Number 46, integrated concepts. If electric and magnetic field strains vary sinusoidally in time beginning zero at t equals zero when e is this thing and b is this thing, uh, let uh, the frequency be one gigahertz. Okay, when are the field strains first zero? So basically, um, we have two formulas here, that the magnetic field uh, strength at some point in time is equal to the max, multiplied then by the sine of two pi frequency times time, okay? And the electric field is basically the same thing. Two pi frequency times time. So if, just think about this, if t is zero, then this whole thing in the sine function goes to zero and sine is zero is zero, and therefore this whole thing, everything just goes to zero. So the answer for letter A is just T is equal to zero, okay? Letter B, when do they reach their most negative value? So in order for them to be most negative, the sign here has to be, in terms of now, we have to do this in terms of radians. So that whole has to be three halves pi. And that's then going to be equal to now two pi times the frequency, they told you one times 10 to the ninth, multiplied them by the time. So I wanna solve this for time, right? So simply now divide this term on out. So if you realize here, what happens now is the pi's will cancel. It's basically going to work out to be now, algebraically, this works out to be three over four because the twos will multiply and that'll be then one times 10 to the ninth. So that's all it's gonna actually simply work out to be. So plug that into the calculator, three over four divided by one times 10 to the ninth. 7.5 times 10 to the minus 10th. So that's the time now, 7.5 times 10 to the minus 10th. That's the seconds, okay? And the reason why we know that is because we know as we go around a circle, right? If you have a coordinate here, you know when at zero, sine is uh, sine is zero, okay? You know then at pi, pi over two, sine is then one. You know then at pi, it's back to zero, and then at three halves pi, it's a negative one. So that's why I was doing this, okay? And let us see how much time is needed for them to complete one cycle. So that's basically a full revolution of two pi. So basically it's the same thing. So two pi now has to equal the stuff inside the sine function. So that's gonna be equal to two pi multiplied by the frequency sine times time. Notice how they cancel. So this is basically now gonna be one over the frequency is equal to the time. So this then, oh, wait a minute, period. Ha, huh, look at that. Right, that, isn't that the period formula? So write down your frequency now of one times 10 to the minus ninth, or excuse me, to the ninth, and this will simply become one times 10 to the minus ninth. That's the time. Guys, thank you for tuning in. I will see you in the next chapter. Be well.